Hey everyone, it's Murphy. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about plants that I think are underrated and really easy to take care of. Now if you've had these plants before and they were hard for you, I'm sorry. Um, not everybody's experience is the same. We all live in different areas and where I happen to live, it is quite humid naturally. I think our humidity stays between 40 and 60 depending on the season. And I know that's pretty average, but I know there's other areas where it is between 20 and 30. So these plants are really easy for me to take care of. I also have a greenhouse cabinet that I keep almost all of these in. The first one on my list isn't particularly underrated, but I do think it should be talked about more and it is the heartleaf philodendron. This plant is so easy to take care of. Oh my God, and it's beautiful. Like genuinely like stunning. It's so pretty, the leaf shape is wonderful. It comes in many different varieties and colors like variegated, neon, normal, all of, all of, all of them. It's so pretty, it's so versatile. Um, it can vine, it can climb, it just, Oh, it's so pretty, it's perfect. It's great for any space in your home. I find that it doesn't really require that much light. It's really low maintenance and it's just, ugh, it's such a good plant. I, I really do love it. It's just, if you're gonna get one plant, I recommend a Hartley philodendron, like a big one. Even if you get a small one, even if you get a cutting, that thing will grow into a pretty big plant in a year. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. I do find that mine is a little thirsty, but if you tend to overwater, I think this is a really good plant for you. Genuinely one of my favorite plants, even though it's super basic and I'm more of a rare plant girly, but I really, I'm into this plant. I have it hanging above my bed and I just think it looks so nice. It adds to the space. It just brings life to the space. It's just really aesthetically pleasing and just it's wonderful. I love it. There's not really much to say about it, but I do really, 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 really like this plant. Next up on the list is my pink princess philodendron, and I am in love with this plant. Like, truly, genuinely am in love with her. Look at how big she's gotten. She just looks so good. She is doing so well. She has all of these roots that are shooting off, and I know she's low variegation. I'm fully aware of that, and it does make me sad sometimes, but I do really love her anyways. She's so unique and she grows so, so, so quickly. As soon as a leaf hardens off, she's already putting out a new one. Like this leaf hardened off the other day and this has already like come out. Like that's insane to me. I love her. She's so easy to propagate. I've propagated three pink princesses now and I just, I love this plant. Like I really truly do. I really do think this is a staple and I think it should be in everyone's collection. And I know mine looks a little lanky and a little silly, but she is just one of my favorites. I really, really love her. She's super low variegation, like I said, but I don't even care that much. I really don't. She's one of my favorite plants in the entire world. And she survived my neglect because I had her in a clear bin and she was just in sphagnum moss and she did wonderfully. She survived and grew so big. I'm gonna put her on a moss pole soon, but anyways, I know this plant is super popular already, but I think that it deserves more attention. I wanna see this on big box store shelves. I want this plant to be as commonly found as a pothos. Like, I think that this, I think that everybody should have this plant. I love the red stem, I just, I, it's so unique and so beautiful. I love philodendrons. I like the, sh the leaf shape a lot. I just, I think it's a staple. I don't think it's overrated. I know a lot of people think that this plant is overrated, but I really don't believe that. I think that it deserves more hype. I love just everything about it. And mine, I think is pretty much reverted. So I'm probably gonna get a new one <laughs> soon, but I'm gonna chop her back very soon and try to get more variegation out of her. But I really don't mind. Because even though she doesn't have a lot of pink on her, she's still really nice and really cute and grows so quickly and just gives me so much joy. And I think that like, I, I wanna see this plant more. Like not just on big box store shelves, I wanna see it in videos. I wanna see it being mass produced. I wanna see this plant everywhere. And I really think it deserves it. I think it's so precious. I, I love it. It does have a risk of reverting, but that doesn't bother me like at all. But yeah, I love this plant. She's so cute, she's precious and she's just, I love her. She was my first ever wishlist plant, actually, and um, I'm so happy to have her. She's just, I love her very much. Next is my white night philodendron. I love this plant, and I know it's a juvenile form, but honestly, kind of like it better than the large form. Like, just kind of, but like, 
I really do love this plant. I think it's so wonderful. And it grows really, 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 really quickly for me. Sometimes it puts out multiple leaves at a time. I do have two. I do have three plants potted up in this pot. But like, look at this leaf. Look at that white variegation. It's like pure white. You can kind of see through it. It's just, it's so beautiful. This is one of my favorite plants of all time. It's super easy care, not super thirsty. It's always putting out new leaves. Just no matter what the season is, it's just constantly doing it for me. And it also survived the neglect because I put it in a tub with sphagnum moss and it became this. It used to be teensy, like teensy in like August. It was tiny and now it's become this like absolute beauty. I want to see this plant more. I really do. I ch I think more people need all of these plants and I want to see it more in videos. I want to see it in big box stores. I think this would be a really easy plant to produce in big box stores and I think a lot of people would buy it. Like I really do. It's just something about variegated plants really do it for me but I just I love this plant. I really do. It's it's so easy. It's one of my favorite plants of all time and I just I love it to death. I, I adore it. All right, that is going to be all for the video today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you guys could like and subscribe. It really supports my channel and lets me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like to see. And also, if you would like, feel free to leave a comment about what you would like to see from me. I really, truly make content for you guys and I want to know what you guys want from me and what you guys want to see and I would love to make it so um yeah have an amazing rest of your day or night and I will see you guys in the next one bye